next player yeah, as she yes. makes her way into the cage. Lauren, Woo! the Iron yeah. Butterfly And I noticed Garcia. that her fight, she was really kind of in the weeds. And she just like bit came down on yes. She came down, bit down on that mouth guard, and she took this chick down, and she finished the fight exactly like you need to do. Uh, it, honestly, it, it kind of looked like a veteran move. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she's still super early in her fight career, so this ought to be a good one. We got Lauren, the Iron Butterfly Garcia, coming out of Excel Jiu-Jitsu. She's nice, 24-year-old young lady, <laughs> but she is vicious. This girl is so good. I love watching her. Um, I can't wait to see uh, what Janae Delgado is bringing to the table. Uh, she comes from BJJ Gym, so we'll see uh, how her Jiu-Jitsu matches up to Lauren's. Uh, and I she's nine years older than her, so yeah. I wonder how much more experience she has. Yeah, I have seen uh, Hanethi fight. I think that's how you say her name. Hanethi. I have seen her fight before in San Diego once against Lawrence. Oh, really? Yes. And I believe that fight was mostly a stand-up fight. And uh, I, I've seen her fight a few times. They've mostly been stand-up. So we're, I'm interested to see how the potential grappling goes in this one. And another thing worth mentioning about the Epic Cage is that it's extremely small. So a lot of times with the grappling, you'll see cage work involved. And if there's not grappling and someone tries to run away in the striking, they don't really have a, a yeah, lot of place to go. Yeah, there's nowhere to go, go really. Yeah. I think that's why these fights are so exciting is because the cage is so small. Like, you don't see a lot of running. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Because <laughs> I like people who like to fight. I yes. don't like people who run away. <laughs> The good old Kayla Harrison uh, weight class, 155. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the future of the weight class, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, ladies. Please welcome her opponent as she makes her way into the cage, John Mitty Delgado. I know her. Disadvantage. Because I was older than her, I was 32. She was 24, and I don't really necessarily agree with that. I think a lot of times. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our next fight Let's is scheduled like for three three-minute yeah, rounds in the lightweight the gauge, division. You know? Introducing first, yeah. fighting out of the Bata Focus and Blue Corner, a jiu-jitsu and strike fighter. She steps into the cage with a record of two wins and no losses. Oh, baby. One it's win coming by way one. of submission. She stands at five Let's feet six inches tall intensity. and weighing officially at 155.2 pounds, representing yeah, Excel Jiu-Jitsu. From Oceanside, Oceanside, California, Lauren, right the that. Iron Butterfly Garcia. What and her opponent across the, the cage fighting out of the Genesis Recovery there. Red no. Corner, yeah. an orthodox like mixed like martial <laughs> artist. She comes <laughs> to this fight with a record of one win I'm and two like losses. So on her one win coming by way of submission. Like, she stands at five feet like four really inches tall and winning really officially at 154.4 pounds. She trains with all our Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The Cancun Quintana Room, Mexico. Johnetti Delgado. Referee in charge of the action, Ryan Spears. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got fight number 11. We have Janetti Delgado in the red trunks and Lauren Garcia in the black. Both with similar braids, though. Mm hmm. All right, I guess I decided on no touch gloves. I like nice starting kick. With the oh, kick! Double kick from Lauren. Straight jab and being long like that. You can see uh, Lauren's experience in her taekwondo here. She's doing a really good fighting off that back foot. Nothing is moving forward, but she's getting hit a lot. Yes. I would like to see more head movement out of Janetti. Or even counters to those kicks. You yeah. Know? And moving forward, like with a little bit of a tighter um, movement. Yeah, she's I keeping, like that. She's keeping um, Lauren on her heels, but the thing is, Lauren's she's got Taekwondo. Lauren's got that, yes. Oh, God. Nice low kick from, ooh. Hanethi's head snapped back, but she returned with her own right. Lauren's just 
too quick with her hands. She's had hands. And she's got too. the and she's got the range. I think Lauren just keeps punching her in the face yeah. because she smells blood. Yeah, and Janetti's going for the low kicks and keeping her face wide open. Uh, Lauren is really sitting down yeah. those punches. <laughs> I'd like to see Janetti get off of the cage. Yeah, circle out, circle out, reset. Maybe make some distance with your leg kicks again. Yeah. Maybe even wrestle. We were talking about the grappling yeah. before this, but this has just so far been throwing down on the feet. I mean, Lauren had said she wanted to finish this fight with an arm bar, but she's having it's looking like she's having a lot of success on the feet. I was wondering when she was going to hit the body, and she just hit a few body shots in there. So maybe give Hanetti a few things to think about, more things, yeah. I should say. Hanetti's having a really hard time with the range. With the range. Uh, it's because she's only throwing one or two punches. There Here's she goes. the grappling. Nice. Strong women, look at this. Ooh, baby. So this is an interesting, almost 50-50 position that Hanetti was in, and she's searching for both underhooks. If she just circled, there we go, she's start, oh. She's looking for some judo setup here, but with all that pressure, there we yeah. go. Six scramble, uh, I like it. Lauren wins a scramble, it ends up on top. Looking for some short strikes. Trying to pass at half guard, but has she, her she saved down. the punch here. Yeah. Yeah, which is okay Jan for Janetti is right? locking herself down. Which is right. And done. Uh, beautiful finish by Lauren. Great work. Great work. Uh, Lauren Great work from, by Lauren. From bell to bell, Lauren was focused. She did not lose her focus and her... Um, her intention to finish the fight was there from the very beginning. Yes. And again, like a veteran. We got the replay coming. Let's see that finish by Lauren. Good. Uh, really? She just peppered her way in the whole time. And she gave um, Janetti no choice but to, you know, Try to grapple with her, and she beat her in that exchange too. Um, Janetti just, which is a little bit outmatched, um, but uh, good job on her staying tough. But Lauren just, you know, she just had what it took to to get that win. Yeah, I thought it was interesting because uh, even Hanetti tries to keep her down, and then all she does is posture up and you know work from there. Yeah. Uh, Hanetti tried to throw some kicks, and then Lauren still somehow punched her as she was yeah. throwing long kicks. You know, like she definitely has tools everywhere. Yeah. Uh, watch out for Lauren, y'all. Bigger women. You better say yes to fighting her. Yeah. Your game. Don't be avoiding her. Yeah. <laughs> well, now she's three and zero as an amateur. Uh, I'd like to see her like fight for a title or something and then see her go pro. She's a very talented young lady, Absolutely. very exciting to watch. She's got a great personality. <laughs> and honestly, uh, she, based on how she looked today versus the last time I saw her, which wasn't that long ago, she showed real improvements. Yeah. Especially on the feet. Yeah, really great work tonight. Awesome to see. When the team is happy, proud that all that hard work you put in really yep. paid off. Now she can go celebrate, have a nice weekend. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. One of the more bloody fights of the night. You can expect that from the females. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Talk about bring the intensity. Yes. The third man in the ring, Ryan Spink, stops this contest. Two minutes, 43 seconds into the very first round. Your winner by way of technical knockout, Lauren, the Iron Butterfly Garcia. Congrats to Lauren and her team tonight for that big win. Great work, great work. It always feels good when 
you worked so hard on improving your skills. Ladies and gentlemen, Aya Kayat, cage side, please.